Hello YouTube, Caitlin here, and were you a weird kid? You lie. Recently, Mika Kitty posted a video about seven things from her childhood which prove that she was and always will be a really weird individual. While I didn't do any of Tessa's strange things, I do have my own unique history. That means I was a ridiculously weird kid. My mom worked in the loan department of a ginormous bank when I was really little, so I always had this strange obsession with being a banker, and thus I would put pennies in my room's radiator. There was this perfect little slot for them, so I always imagined that I was storing them for later and gaining interest. What I was really doing was wasting my money and creating a spectacular fire hazard. My dad likes to tell the story of how he would frequently come home from work and find all the pots and pans in the kitchen floor and me in the cabinet. I was in this intense love for tiny spaces. Like at one point I lived in my closet for a week and another time when I was really sick, I decided that the best way to get better was sleeping in my laundry basket. So how are you feeling in your corner? Yeah, really, I don't know. It's pretty fun. Yeah. I like cozy yeah, spaces. Had, like, I used to just like tents and things and corners and tiny, tiny, tiny nooks tiny and crannies. Yeah, nooks and crannies. So this is this is like totally channeling okay, my childhood. So I had planned on shooting. Apparently, I still do. When I was nine or ten, while I hadn't really grasped the concept of static electricity, I did really want to be made of magic. So when I discovered that my hands made sparks of light when I ran them over my comforter at night, I was pretty convinced that I was getting my letter to Hogwarts soon. That is until I obliquely questioned my dad about the phenomenon and found that I simply needed to study harder in science. In middle school, I decided that I really didn't like playing basketball every day in gym, so I incited my friends to create Volskiball aka volleyball with a basketball. This pretty much ended in bruised and broken forearms and reprimands from my gym teacher. One of my favorite make-believe games was to be an orphan on the street, and accordingly, I would ration my food at dinner. I distinctly remember counting out individual grains of mustard-covered rice. Yes, yes, I did use mustard as a flavoring for my rice as a kid, burnt my taste buds right off. Unfortunately, in middle school, I really didn't have very many friends. Uh, I wonder why. So I took to drawing extremely detailed imaginary friends and explicating their personalities. We, of course, all had magical powers. Duh. Probably one of the weirdest things that I would do, though, is that whenever I was underwater, I would adopt a different evil personality. Seriously, I would laugh maniacally and plot the demise of my enemies, but whenever I came up for air, I was my normal, sweet, innocent self. Uh, crazy much? So it's needless to say that I was a really quirky kid. But one of the things that I love about YouTube and the internet now is finding out that pretty much everybody else was too. In fact, if you didn't do something strange as a kid, you're pretty much in the minority and kind of weird for it. If you're a strange kid now or you were when you were growing up, I'm here to tell you that all that weirdness is really just the awesomeness of your personality developing. And if somebody can't handle that, that's their problem, yo. Tell me in the comments your weirdest childhood story. And remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if this video made you smile. See you guys next Thursday. <laughs>